great to meet you uh reena i mean i know so impressed watching uh, your your presentation and as well as others so i'm like a little blown away right now <laughs> with the right here for information there uh congratulations again um so tell me a little bit about like you know you your programmers for the like in the music ther- inspired by music therapy like you know for the autistic kids and you said like um like you know, how you came to uh uh came to choose that it was great like what do you see that going like you know how what's your vision for that so i wanted for my game to teach um autistic kids or kids with special needs um essential skills that they could find harder to learn than other people and the game is going to be a story maker game so they can choose a story and they can create their own story by choosing backgrounds and characters and later i plan to add background music and some games that are related to music that can help them learn awesome uh about your magic program itself um like you know what would you for a for a future magic mentee what would you give us a tip like you know start off with something um i would advise a new mentee to never give up and keep on trying to achieve whatever they want to achieve and that there's always a solution to something <laughs> awesome um soja right that i get the name right um so for for you i mean i'm well, how how long have you been with magic is is this like you've been you be this is yeah. not your first experience uh so i've been mentoring with magic for the last 8 years uh mm-hmm. i started in grad school and now have been continuing on uh throughout my job Um, yeah so you are truly a veteran <laughs> truly a veteran mentor what did you find in marina i mean i think with mentoring like you know, every time a mentee teaches me something too right so what what do you think was like a unique uh, that you learned yeah i mean i i think there were are two things that were really fascinating and awesome to work with marina uh one is just she came in with this vision for the project and knew exactly what she wanted to do and um you know it, and i think it's it's awesome when you have those mentees trying to figure out projects but having this vision she was able to carry it forward quickly in our short time um to s- create something very sophisticated uh and then i think the second part of that was just uh her coming up to speed so quickly with debugging these things um she's got animation in there she's got these dynamic buttons there's this complicated storyboard all in the background uh and i think about halfway through was when i stopped really debugging most of the things for her she's figured out how to look things up for herself and to find the different resources evaluating de- like apple developer resources it's it's <laughs> wow. so i've been i've been really impressed with her throughout this project um to both of you maybe marina you can start um are there any failures that you were, you learned a lot from during this process yeah i definitely learned a lot during this experience um soja taught me how to uh, search for resources that can help me with whatever thing i'm trying to debug and this experience also taught me time management skills and i overall learned a lot about swift and xcode <laughs> yeah i was just wondering like you know any at any point you felt like okay you set out to do something if you didn't get to there but it's okay because like you found more by doing the, like you know by failing at that like nobody learned other things other moments like that um yeah um she taught me how to like upload like my progress to github mm-hmm. so like whenever it crashes or like i just 
it doesn't seem to be working I can always go back to github and like go back to whatever whatever progress that project was when I uploaded it anything from you Shelby, on that yeah I yeah. think I think the experience that we all have as mentors is this is always a new project. It's always a new person. And so figuring out um, what you can sort of promise your mentee will get done in that time period is always a evolving window. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, I think some of the, t some of the times I think as a mentor, you, you kick yourself sometimes early on when you're trying to figure out exactly how much uh, can be accomplished or or not. I think I'm about uh, seven of eight we've all gone, of my mentees have all <laughs> gone over. Uh, and then one went dramatically under <laughs> in terms of projects. So um, yeah, I, I've, and again, I've actually been impressed. I, Marina, I, I think, and I have had this conversation of she feels a bit behind on uh, what she was setting out to finish in May, but actually, uh i i don't think she's behind at all yeah uh, i mean that's what all the ambitious kids feel like right yeah <laughs> exactly it's actually like there's you know there's all the soft skills you learn uh going through these things and it's, it's always hard as a mentor to uh i'm a very hands-off mentor uh marina can attest that she's pretty much fixed everything written all mm -hmm. the code uh, but you always wonder a little in your back and your mind is if you should help them out by giving them that one piece of code so they can go on to the next step. Um, so yeah, there's always, it's always a balancing act as a, mm -hmm. as a mentor, but it's a really fun one and it's a great thing to do every year. Uh, Marina, back to you. Is there any moments that stand out from your, like, you know, the time together and I, as, I heard that you only had like three months of mentorship, right? Or in this particular one. So um, what stands out to you? Um, I think meeting with Soja in person was definitely like the highlight of my experience because it really helped us to get to know each other and work effectively on my project. Yeah. I'm glad that you got to do that right now before we were all forced to, to uh, do it online. Um, were there any, like, you know, going through your project, were there any kind of, like, aha moments, like, maybe that clicked um, or something that, like, you know, okay, something that happened that turned the direction of the project? Just curious. I mean, it may not happen, but... Um, I think... One of the most exciting parts was creating animations because at first they seem really complicated, but it actually isn't like that much of like code. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like the animation, animating like the characters to move and making text pop up, like that's really exciting part of my project. Yeah, I'll see. Um, I really hope you continue the work. I'll be excited to see what comes out of it, like, you know, and just be able to publish it. Um, I don't have any other questions. Like, you know, thank you both <laughs> for your time. Uh, I know a lot of magic kids, like, you know, who are coming after you will appreciate all these pointers and, like, you know, what you, what you have achieved in these three months and, like, you know, sh showing them what can be achieved, right? I mean, as a path. So, really, really, really great job. Thank you. Thanks, guys.